Welcome back to Beamers Bumps and Bruises. Here we are in the sunshine at the beautiful MCG. We've got a special guest today, uh, Melbourne Football Club, games record holder, leading goals. He's done everything. David Neitz, how are you, mate? Good, Beamer. Great to be here, mate. Yes. Now, uh, what, are you, what are you up to at the club at the moment? Yeah, I'm uh, working at the moment, uh, stakeholder relations is my role, so uh, our business community, trying to build that uh, that up and, and also doing a bit of work with the City of Melbourne and, and the City of Casey, so uh, all very exciting stuff. Yeah, good to have you back at the footy club. Now, Queen's birthday clash this week, the biggest game for the year, um, what are your memories of uh, games? You know, Queen's birthday? Yeah, mate, it's, um, it's obviously a huge game every year. Um, big game on the calendar for all of our supporters and, and our players. Look, I reckon I've just been thinking about it uh, in the build-up, actually, and probably the best memory that I've got is um, the big wizard, Jeff Farmer, kicking nine in the second half against, uh, I think it was 2000. So uh, it was a massive game, and uh, he absolutely erupted. So got to say, that's uh, probably my favourite memory out here on Queen's birthday. I was actually there, here that day and I was sitting right down there behind the goals. Neil Danaher dragged him yes. in the first half and um, he came out in the second half and kicked nine. It was a um, superb effort. But um, what are your thoughts on footy you know, these days? Mate, it's, uh, it's amazing really. I've, I've only been retired for about three years or so but the game seems to have changed so much with uh, you know, the forward press and there's so much going on that's uh, that's different uh, different style of game to when I played the bulk of my footy. Um, you know, my game out of, full, out of the square at full forward, leading up at the ball and uh, now, you know, the the, uh, the back lead's the king and that's the one that um, that causes sides most trouble. So um, it's, it's amazing how quickly and fast the game keeps developing and, and moving. But, but um, particularly on last Friday night, Beamer, I liked the way the boys played there and uh, hopefully there's more of that to come this week. Yeah, let's hope so, let's hope so. Now, what are you expecting uh, this Monday? Yeah, oh, look, obviously uh, another good game. Um, I think that uh, you know, the Pies have got a couple of guys out, a couple of guys missing out of their midfield, which um, which will be great for us, and particularly with our guys uh, getting a few numbers with uh, you know, Scully and Trengove coming back and the two Geordies doing well, yourself bullocking your way through in the midfield there, mate. Um, you know, Watsy's he's uh, stepped it up over the last month, and uh, so all those young guys in particular are uh, doing well, and, and obviously Brad Green, had some criticism early with his captaincy, but um, I think the way that he's performed also, uh, probably since that West Coast game, he's just uh, really stood up. Yep, yeah, well, thanks for coming on the show. You're a legend of the footy club, and uh, make sure you tune next week, Beamers, Bumps and Bruises.